On a chilly, windswept evening at a regional airport in northwest Georgia, President Trump showed up about 30 minutes late to a crowd of thousands of people packed into a makeshift arena alongside the airport runway. They watched Air Force One drive up, they watched the president descend, and he gave the final campaign speech in Georgia of this election. And he made a particular appeal to suburban women, which is a constituency that both parties are trying to sway as Democrats try to flip the state blue and Republicans try to keep it red. Will the women of the suburbs please vote for President Trump? So ridiculous. And I keep hearing from the fake news, the women of the suburbs don't like Donald Trump, and I'm saying to myself, well, I'm giving them safety, protection, and I terminated, I terminated a regulation that will ruin the suburbs and ruin the value of your house, and you'll be fleeing the suburbs. And no, I did a lot for the suburbs, I'll tell you. Thank you. That's what I thought. Trump name-checked numerous other Republicans on the ballot, from David Perdue to Kelly Loeffler to Doug Collins to Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is expected to win a congressional seat here in Northwest Georgia, all of whose fortunes could rise or fall with the president's on Election Day.